Hey guys, this is Brooke, and you're listening to the Vintage Gardener Podcast, which is where I give you tips and tricks on gardening, particularly if you're like me and you garden in southern New Jersey, which is zone 7A. So welcome to the end of your review. We are doing flower trials year two. Uh, this episode, we're going to be doing sweet pea or Lothyris odoratus. So once again, the one thing I did consistently with all of them was um, well, the ones that made it in the ground is that I watered every two days. I did a one-time application of Dr. Earth and all of them, anything that came up, I spaced three to five inches apart around a trellis. So this is going to be like a two-part evaluation. I'm going to tell you how they did in 2020 and then how they did in this year. Um, so most of the ones that I had, I got from... I got the seeds from Swallowtail Seeds. And so in 2020, I did a March winter sowing. And so one thing I can tell you is that with March winter sowing, all of them were very successful. I'll go over the 2021 results because that's what differed. Uh, so the first one up is Strawberry Fields. This is by Swallowtail Seeds. Once again, last year did quite well. I only put a couple in the ground. They were very stunted because number one, the seed starting trays were very small. I used the traditional ones. And then on top of that, because I actually had to remove the grass by hand to make those new flower beds, it was just way too late by the time I put them in and they had already started um, to set blooms. 2021, I did January winter sowing, not successful. I don't think I got any sprouts whatsoever. Uh, then I did uh, Route 66. That is a white and pink bicolor one. Uh, like I said, 2021 winter sowing in March was successful. The January winter sowing in 2020, excuse me, 2020 winter sowing in March was successful. The 2021 January uh, winter sowing was not as successful. I got a couple of them but not a lot. I did plant them. They did have a really pretty bloom. Um, I did not collect the seed, so it's gonna looks like it's probably gonna self-seed for next year. I would definitely grow it again though. Okay, so then I had a perennial blend of sweet pea. This is Lothyris fatifolius. And this one actually gets a little taller than the other ones. The other ones get like six to eight feet. This one actually gets up to nine feet. Um, this is the first year I planted it. I did a winter sowing in January, very successful. It bloomed in June. It was very nice. It did not die back like the regular sweet pea. It still maintained, it was kind of, it was green at the top. It was a little bit more worn at the bottom. But with the cooling temperatures, that bottom part seems to have revived. And so it looks like it's gonna bloom again, but I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, the next one up is Cherie Amour. Uh, this is a Swallowtail Seeds one. Like I said, 2020 a March winter sowing was good. Uh, the January 2021 winter sowing, I got a zero sprouts whatsoever. I'm not sure if the seeds are too old. Uh, then I did a high scent sweet pea. I got the seeds from Botanical Interest. Um, I didn't grow it last year, I don't think but I did the winter sowing in January with old seeds. I got good germination. It, I did run out of time to plant them because you really need to get those in the ground early because they bloom in June. I had not gotten the white, to the white section when they bloomed. Uh, the high scent are white with like a purple rim, but they were very beautiful. I did not capture any seeds, but I definitely will grow this next year. Uh, then I did the old spice blend. So I think I may have started something some in 2020. I can't remember if they sprouted because I know that my greenhouse flipped over twice and I lost a lot of things. But this year in 2021, um, they, I had old seed. I winter sowed in January, good success. It was, this one I grew in the pink section so it got partial say, shade. And it lasted, though it stayed around for, most of the summer, I think, because of the part shade. I'm pretty sure that it's self-seeded. 
it's a nice one to grow. Uh, then I did Manmouth sa Salmon Cream Sweet Pea. I got the seeds from, I think it was Walmart. It was a Ferry Morris one. Uh, this has got a peachy pink bloom on it. So I did winter sowing in either January or February of this year, 2021. And I think I got like 50% germination. So for next year, this is one I think I pro may do better if I start it in March in my cold frame. So um, it, it did bloom. Um, I did not collect the seeds, so that meant, means that it self-sowed. But it did well. It wasn't that vigorous. It wasn't, it, it didn't grow as well as some of the other ones that I had. Okay, then I did Molly Rylestone. This was in the orange section. So in 2020, the uh, March winter sowing, excellent germination. In 2021, I either did it in January or February. It was low germination. Um, I, got, I think I only ended up putting two plants out. It did grow. The blooms were really pretty. I would grow it again, but I would definitely not start it in January. Then I had Beaujolais. Um, Beaujolais is like a deep red, like burgundy color. And so in 2020, in March, winter sowing, successful high germination. Uh, 2021, I did February, January winter sowing. It was actually really, really successful. Uh, this is the one I actually, I got from Swallowtail Seeds and it performed differently than the rest of them. Um, I did get pretty high germination and it self-seeded. I didn't grab the pods, but yes, it actually, it was interesting because it was one of those types of things I noticed that it kind of bloom, it bloomed and I thought at first the plant was stunted, but then it was like it bloomed, but then it continued to grow and bloom. So it did actually get pretty far up the trellis, but I was expecting it to grow its full length and then bloom. But it was like, it grew and bloomed and it got taller and bloomed again. And so it was really interesting, but I did like it. It's definitely something I would grow again. Uh, then I had the Nimbus Sweet Pea, which is once again from Swallowtail Seeds. Uh, 2020 March winter sowing was great germination. Um, early winter sowing in 2021, I got nothing. Okay, then I did my navy. That those are seeds I got from Botanical Interest, and let's see. I winter. I did early winter sowing for this one. Great germination. Um, the we because we got early heat it actually caused the plant to bloom and bloom and basically die before i could actually get it planted because this went into the blue purple section but while it was in the cup it, the blooms were beautiful so i would would i grow it again i would absolutely grow it again and now that the parterre garden is set up you know i think it'll you know it'll be easier to get everything planted because i won't have to be creating everything um it's definitely one of those things I should have gotten out in March because it really, it bloomed. Did it even get to June? It may have gotten, it may have been late March, excuse me, mid, late May. Okay, then I have Electric Blue. And this one is by Swallowtail Seeds. Um, in 2020, I had, did some March winter sowing. It was successful. I think I lost most of them because the greenhouse flipped. If I plant, I think I may have only gotten one in the ground. Once again, it was stunted because the starting trees were too small and it took me a long time to create that bed. I did early winter sowing in 2021, no seedlings whatsoever. Okay, then I had some Oxford and Cambridge sweet pea, March 2020 winter sowing, good success. I didn't put any of the ground because greenhouse flipped. I did early winter sowing in 2021, zero seedlings. Okay. Oh, and actually, guys, you know what? With the electric blue sweet pea, that actually is a that is a mini variety. It actually only gets 36 inches, so it's great for a pot. So I would definitely grow it again just because it is shorter and you don't have to... I think you have to trellis it a little bit, but it was... Um, but if you're looking for a short vine, that's a good one. And then last but not least, I did Turquoise Lagoon Sweet Pea. 
And this is a cross. It's Lephyrus odoratus cross Lephyrus uh, bellinosis or bellinosis. And so this one only gets four to six feet um, tall. So it's a shorter vine. I did post pictures of this in 2020. The buds are like a, a turquoise lavender. Quite frankly, it didn't even look real. So this one I did plant out. It was stunted growth. Once again, the seed trays are too small and it took me too long to get it in the ground. In March 2020 with the winter sowing, I got good germination, but we had a late frost. And interestingly, the late frost ended up killing a lot of them, which I was really surprised by because typically sweet pea aren't, you know, they're like pansies and poppies. They can handle um, a frost. I'm, so I'm not really sure what happened. I did early winter sowing in 2021. I got zero plants. So what, oh, so anyway, let me talk to you guys a little bit about scent. Cause one of the reasons that people like plant sweet pea is because of the scent. First off, if you've ever been to Bath and Body Works, they used to sell this fragrance called sweet pea. Clearly the person who developed that scent has never smelled a sweet pea before in their entire life. Uh, Cause it's a very floral, very floral. The plants had very, very light scent to the point that I really couldn't smell it unless I got up on it. So it wasn't, it wasn't overwhelming. I mean, it's, it was pleasant, but it was very, very, it was very, very light, almost non-existent. Um, I was hoping that, you know, especially because some of them were lining the walkway going to the house. I was hoping, you, were, you know, to get a whiff as I was walking in and out. And I really didn't, to be quite honest, the things in my garden that really I could smell were the roses and the stock, um, not the sweet pea. So like I said, a lot of these are from swallowtail seeds. And I'm not sure if, they, if it's because they're really decorative sweet pea, but for whatever reason, the ones I got from Swallowtail Seed, with the exception of Beaujolais, do not do well with early winter sowing. They did, when I started them in March in my hoop house, they did wonderfully. And so when I compile a list of my, you know, seed starting, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to divide it in terms of things I can start in January, things to wait until March. And this is definitely something I would wait until March and definitely start it in the cold frame. Uh, the other thing is it, the ones that I got from Swallowtail Seeds do not seem to do well, you know, the next year. Uh, some of the other ones like the High Scent and the Old Spice Blend, I had those seeds from last year and they were fine. But I don't know if it's because it's uh, the ones the from Swallowtail are more decorative, but those seeds do not seem to hold up well. So that is what I would say about that. Um, so yeah, so I, like I said, I did like them. I, I definitely would grow most of these again. I just know that next year, you know, it's one of those types of things I need to make sure I have fresh seed at all times when I start these, especially when I get them from Swallowtail. Um, so, so I can make sure I can get them. Um, so I will keep you guys posted on how the perennial sweet pea does next year. Hopefully it does survive and hopefully it does come back. Uh, so that's it guys. So uh, the next episode, I will be going over the chrysanthemums that I got from Bluestone Perennial. I have a lot of chrysanthemums, but I'm gonna be dividing them by where I got them from because um, each of the suppliers, like, well, so to speak, of the chrysanthemums. They were very different types, and so they rocked very different ways in the garden. So thank you guys so much for listening. Don't forget that there is a live call-in show on Friday at 8 p.m., and the topic is, what was your favorite flower from 2021? So I will see you guys in the next podcast.